Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group J Round 2 game between Winteros and his Dark Elves up against Mad Jake and his Orcs. Mad Jake won the toss, chose to receive. I can tell you about the two coaches. Mad Jake is German and qualified via the Season 5 official ladder. Wenteros is Russian and qualified through the Ruby BL, which is why his team is Ruby BL champions. And I can show you what the table is like before the match. Uh, Spartacus has got a win and a loss. Court Guy's got two losses. And Wenteros and Mad Jake both won their first game. So um, it's it's still all to play for. Anything can happen. No matter what the result is, it's not nothing's going to be conclusive after this game. But um, obviously, big advantage to whoever gets the win. And if it's a draw, then it's going to be really like a three-way, really close game. Um, I think if it's a draw, then that does actually eliminate court guy, right? So a draw eliminates court guy, and a win or a loss for anybody keeps it exciting. And. Mad Jake has got four guards. He's been playing a lot of uh, orcs on the ladder. He doesn't have the troll. I mean, I, I prefer the non-troll build, though I would have gone an Apo and only 12 players. I don't like the 13th man. You're often going to Apo like a positional here. And he doesn't have a mighty blow at all. He's got a block, big one, and a tackle. I really think a mighty blow blitzer is better than a tackle blitzer. Also, this setup is entirely... He must be very confident here. This setup is entirely anti-blitz. This is the absolute best anti-blitz setup. So, you know, fair play to Mad Jake for that. But I think, you know, there is certain there's certain value to be had. I certainly could have swapped the guard, right? So you had an instant 2D there. Um, there's something to be said for, you know, maximizing hits a little bit more than just going absolute anti-blitz. But I mean, this is the best anti-blitz formation you can get. Uh, Wenteros has gone for a similar team than me in that he has got four Bludge Blitzers, two Witch Elves, though he's gone one, uh, he's gone both Wrestle rather than one Block, one Wrestle, and he has an Apothecary rather than a 12th player. He also has fantastic cheerleaders, Halfling cheerleaders, Orc cheerleaders for Mad Jake. Right, let's see what happens. Oh, the brilliant coaching is won by Mad Jake. Oh, because they've both got assistant coaches, right? I knew that Wentross would have the assistant coaches, he's got the apple, but Orcs do as well, so. Yeah. I feel like the guard definitely should have been in the middle there, right? So that if this had been uh, both down, he would have still had the uh, guard there. Ooh, leaving this both a little bit open to get some pressure on. I might go for some pressure here as the elves. We shall see. Nope, just conservative. Conventional defense. It was a little bit tempting to push through. It was a little bit tempting to push through, but I guess Orcs are really strong and they've got guard and strength and tackles. He got the knockdown through tackle, but no removal. But you know, the stun matters, right? Like, it does matter knocking people over. Less so, though, on turn two. 
Could end up still in contact, and he does. I don't like that. I think if you're going to do that blitz, you assist from here, right, and then just push him, push him away. Not a huge fan of that. He has to be a little bit wary about like defending with blodgers now because there was a tackle. It is still easier to hit the defenseless guys though. Because they don't have block. But. <laughs> Hello, Jack. <Bull. laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't I couldn't resist the uh, the Jamar Chase comment. <laughs> what how ridiculous is it? He got seventy seven points from two players. That's insane. Wow. Um, no removal there with a foul. <laughs> Try. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, the big line. I've seen the line defense a few times. Um, Olivier Dulac does just a big line every now and then. I don't hate it. Because, like, the natural counter is to just pile in. But then if you do pile in, you can't protect the ball very easily, can you? So... Smash there. Are the elves unpainted? Oh, no. Oh, unpainted elves. Well, we have to be cheering for the orcs, then. <laughs> I mean, I just want to see how the elves play this game because obviously I'm I'm playing a orc team. Eventually, <laughs> thanks, Jack. Well, <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm so consistently awesome at fantasy football. I'd hate me too. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this is a little bit tricky, isn't it? There's a lot of dodges off here to keep this conservative defense, but he gets the... That one, he's just going to punch it. He's not going to dodge these guys. He's just going to dodge all the way over there. Punch this guy. Removes himself. No, he removes the orc! Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? Now all of a sudden is the orcs. You're in horrendous trouble because you're a player down versus elves. Oh, we're going to go through this guy. A pow here is beautiful. Even a non-pow gets him out of the way. We get the pow. And I guess we're going through really hard. Pretty strong. Pretty strong push here. Despite losing the big one. The guard big one. Ooh. Oh, he didn't have to rush. Okay, I was going to say, if he has to rush there in front of him, but he didn't. Yeah, so that's a lovely, lovely formation there from Mad Jake. Gets a cheeky pal. Wonderful seizing of space. And, you know, that, that, that ball down didn't seem so bad, did it, from uh, Wanteros? But turns out it, it left that gap. And that was it. You know, maybe he should have re-rolled that ball down. And then, uh, you know, he would have had this lineman to come back and stop this, this gap and stop this huge, easy progression. Tackle there, so he doesn't really want to dodge before doing other things, but it does. And a rush. Gets the 2D and surely will base and follow the you know follow and base the ball. No, it doesn't he stays put? Wow, actually following looks pretty good now, right? <laughs> With getting the stun. I feel like basing is pretty good there. I would have base honestly. Um, I, I guess it makes this side weak, yeah, to the push, so yeah, no, maybe maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Rolls a power, mighty blow would have got the knockdown. 
as well, just quietly. Wouldn't have hurt him though. Gets the power, gets the full power, so it's good to know if you've got that power before you make the ball. Oh, he's keeping him back there. This is a very risky, very risky ball position. This is a three plus to one Dyson. And he makes the dodge to shore it up. Wow, 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 Could also four plus in the back here with a witch to one D. Well, it doesn't need to be a witch, does it? It could just be a bit of good one D in the back. Four plus to one D is totally fine. Like the wrestle witches are like the ball sackers, right? But ultimately, a, a block blitzer does a better job um, when somebody's defenseless. Oh, leaves that big and free. Gets a full pow, massive pow there. And then the blitz from the big and yeah, I like this blitz. Oof. Only a push, but gets a second chance at him. Oh, hits the other guy. Out of, uh, out of trying to hit this guy again. Uh, yeah, this is uh, it's a little bit harder to get in the range now, isn't it? Oh, makes the rush, and the rush from him. This is, uh, I mean, it's an instant one day. Unless he does a one day. Oh, yeah, I don't know how you. Oh. Is he not going to make this one? Yeah, if you're going to make, if you're going to make this one day, you have to make this one day before this one day, right? That was a little bit of turn ordering issue there. Can he run all the way around the top? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. Could just run all the way around the top and one day him. But he's already not done that. So I guess it's. Blitz with a uh, witch and like base the double base the ball. Oh, only a push. Still no re roll there. Oh, and then double one the dodge away. <laughs> to be fair, if he'd re rolled the hit, it would have been a dub skull, but I don't feel like this was going to be an amazing defense from the Dells. I feel like it is. He should have been a bit more. Bit more aggressive there. Uh, you can make this a three D, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he can't. There's an assist here. There's a defensive assist here. Oh, he's going to run all the way around. Is that a rush? No. Gets the pal. It is a rush though, Mr. Throw. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Mr. Throw, why are you so bad? People think you're good, but you're so bad. So very, very bad. Movement five ball carriers are not ways to win games. Rerolling for the push to get the surf. I like it. Mr. Slow, yeah. Oh, it didn't get the push there. He <laughs> saved all of his rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> For a non-surf and a snake dodge. <laughs> but, didn't matter because Mad Jake failed the rush to score, so... Are we going to dacker here, Winteros? He might do. Looks like he could be dackering. 
Touchback, lovely. Gets prone a blitzer. Oh, we're half dackering. Do not like the half dacker. I've got to be honest with you. I don't like the half dacker. This is just like a dacker, except you get punched every turn. Do not like. And everything's based, right? You get blocked and as much as you can possibly base. Okay, I think I hate that blitz. I think the better blitz is this one, right? And then that lets you to base, just allows you to base more stuff. Two, two players hiding behind it. He's not basing. Okay, well, I think just ma mega basing was the play. He's basically defending a Dakar at this point, right? Went across. Except. It's a Dakar where the elves are getting punched every turn. Oh! Wow, so Mad Jake used all of his time in the first half, fair enough. So pretty much autopiloting the second. It's funny what a big effect the uh, time has had on the games. Oh, removal. And hello Winteros, thanks for that. Informations? Good evening, Santa. Yeah, obviously he's wary of the witch elf serfs. Pro fails. Classic. I mean, yeah, it's a really good kick at the event, so... <laughs> Classic L screen. Turn 11, I'd be alright with having the ball appear, honestly. Turn 12, surely the ball comes forward on turn 12. I go just punching this guy continuously. <laughs> Every turn has been exactly the same. <laughs> Punch this guy! This guy gets punched! <laughs> oh man, every single turn. I really, really would have liked the ball up last turn. This is really leaving it pretty late. I think Dark Elves aren't that fast, are they? It's not like there's loads of kill skills to like punish you. Multiple turns. Here we go, turn 13. Like, there's no wiggle room, right? Turn 13 is here. Turn 14 has to be in the opposing half, basically. And then turn 15 and turn 16 have to go forward quite far. Oh, we'll rely on the 1D to unlock and dub skull. Flip me. Pretty brutal. Removal. Oh, I mean, this guard has to go in there. I like. I don't know why Magic doesn't want to base. That's, really, that's what I think has been a big mistake: is his lack of base. Hoop dub, base, base, base. I'm Omri, this won't fail. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> it's the surf. Two L's down that turn. Nine players left for this breakthrough. And really no time at all, so it has to be this turn.
I'm just going 3-3-2 three, three, through. Oh, wow. Pro gets the pow. Outrageous. And the removal. What, what a pro. That is outrageous. And gets two scoring threats through. Flip me. Flip me. That's the power. I mean, I have to blitz the Witch Elf, right? Because the bolt down isn't so bad. You can foul it. I guess this witch can also score. Realistically. I mean, this guy can with, like, rushes, right? But realistically, you don't want to make rushes. But this looks like an over-defending of the scoring threats. It's given us absolute free progression, so I guess we are going to make the rushes. Rushing the hand off. Three two this guy. Wow. Wow, that was Yeah, the time bank just killed him, didn't it, I guess? Oh wow, all the dice. All the dice. Flip me. Yeah, the time bank killed him. Wow. That's the problem, it just won and it was the worst turn to make a mistake as well. It was like, you know, the turn fifteen after pretty much holding them out. Mind all of this formation still didn't stop the two scoring threats just quietly. <laughs> Left a gaping hole in the defence to stop two scoring threats. Didn't even stop said two scoring threats. <laughs> but um horribly unlucky actually to have failed the uh rush to score, wasn't he? Now the elves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's some there's some things to do here. Yep, a dodge. With dodge. I've never succeeded those in my entire life. Also, path's a little bit blocked here, isn't it? So it's going to have to be a dodge of the carrier as well. And a rush. Makes it. And very likely a 1-0 win for Wenteros. Flip me. But I do like, I do like the time bank, obviously. I think it's really good, like, you know, you've got to manage that. And it probably felt really bad for Mad Jake, you know, not having it, but that's part of the, that's part of the skill, isn't it? You know, like, uh, J5 always said, if people had infinite time, they'd find the right play. And, uh, you know, that's the thing, like, you don't, right? And you've got to, you've got to find the right players with the time limit and stuff. And it really hurt in the second half, that did seem some you know some bad turns and you've got to think versus Dells haven't you so uh, I mean on another day of course it could have been a 1-1 one -one draw um, multiple 1-36s for Wentros to score made them all and uh, Mad Jake failed his rush so there you go so now the table looks like this so actually nobody is qualified or eliminated it sure looks like Cup Guy is and it looks like Wentros is qualified but technically um, Mad Jake and Spartacus could both win and Wentros could lose and then you could have a, you know, Court Guy could be 0 0 3 and everyone else could be 2 0 1 or Wentros could be 3 0 0 and everybody else could be 1 1 1 0 2 so this isn't concluded though of course you'd much rather be Wentros than Court Guy at this point in time so there you go um, congratulations Wentros, commiserations Mad Jake Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, 
and stay fantastic.